What's up everyone, John Rettinger from TechnoBuffalo.com. There's been a lot of hype over these upcoming Android netbooks, but I'm say why wait? I'm gonna walk you through how to install Android on your Mac and your PC. It's actually much easier than you would expect. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we do, you're gonna need a few things. A blank DVD. You're gonna need some sort of virtualization software for using a Mac. For example, Parallels desktop software and a DVD drive, and that's about it. So you're gonna to wanna to go to code.google.com slash p slash live slash android. I'll put a link to this in the sidebar, so no need to memorize it. And we're gonna scroll down to where it says user guide, and then you wanna select read me first, and you're gonna to wanna to download an ISO file. So we'll scroll down here. You can download these files individually. I found it much easier to use an ISO. And you're gonna to wanna to click this rapid share link, and this will be in the sidebar as well. If you've got a premium account, go ahead and click premium user. Otherwise, just go ahead and hit free and hit download. And that'll take, depending on your internet speed, 10, 20, 30 minutes to download. While you're waiting for that to download, if you don't have any sort of virtualization software to run Windows on your Mac, I recommend heading over to parallels.com and giving that a download. They have a free trial. You can use any really virtualization software. You can use VMware, Parallels, whatever you want to use. Not going to problem. It's all going to work. So next thing you're going to want to do is put in a DVD into your computer. And after you've downloaded your ISO file, you're going to have a file right here that says Live Android version 02.iso. So you're going to want to go to your Applications folder. You're going to want to hit Utilities. Scroll down to Disk Utility. And we're going to burn that ISO image onto a disk. Because what we're going to do is actually run Android off of a DVD. So no need to dual boot. There's no risk to your computer. If you don't like what you're doing, eject the DVD. No harm, no foul. So we're going to go to File, Open Disk Image. And give it just a moment. It'll launch a sort of finder window. There it is. So I hit the live android.iso, hit open. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna hit open. And you'll have a live android.iso image right there. You wanna hit burn and let your disk burn away. All right, now that you've got your disk burnt, it's time to go ahead and start running Android. So I should also mention that in addition to having a virtualization software that just allows you to run Windows, you're going to need a full legitimate copy of Windows XP, Vista, or 7. If you want to see how to download Windows 7 and get a free copy to install using the virtualization software, I'll put a link to that in the sidebar. I did a tutorial of how to get Windows 7 for free and install it on your Mac. So you're going to want to go ahead and fire up Parallels. I've already got mine running here. And here it is, Windows on a Mac. I've got my start menu over there if you've never seen this before. So now what you're going to want to do, since we're going to be running this off of a DVD, is to enable the DVD drive in Parallels. So I'll go up to your top, and you want to hit Devices, CD, DVD, ROM 1, and you want to just go to Default, CD, DVD, ROM. And now it's going to let Windows be able to see your DVD drive. So now you're going to want to pop in that DVD that we just burned. Go ahead and do that right now. And I'll do this in real time so you can see how long it'll take and what it'll look like for you. Go ahead and go to my computer. And it's loading up. And I'll open it up in just a minute. You can see the files that are in there. There it goes. Go ahead and hit cancel. And open this up. And this is just a bunch of files and it's not going to work. What you need to do right now is actually restart your computer. And if you're using a PC, you can just follow these steps from right here. You're going to want to insert your, the DVD and simply just restart your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And that's all you need to get Android running on your computer. So let's show you what that looks like. Go ahead and hit restart. Restarts just as any other computer would. Windows is now shutting down, and I'll show you what the boot up looks like because it's actually quite interesting. So here we go. So now you get this sort of scary looking text that comes across here, but don't worry. You get a live Android logo there, let you know you did something right. 
So you get the Android boot up logo, pretty cool. And that's it, you are now working with Android. It's telling you you've got a low battery, but certainly that's not the case. You get a sort of a half square or a triangle cursor. We'll go ahead and hit okay. And I'll just show you that this is working. Go ahead and hit the menu. I can pull down status icons. Let's go ahead and open up messaging. Compose a new message. Let's start typing. Let's go back. And if you want to go back a menu, you actually have to, and if you're on a Mac, you need to hit the command key, and that'll take you back to the home screen. Let's open something else. I should say browser doesn't work. But let me show you some of the settings. And things seem to actually be moving much quicker now on a second boot. Let's go to, let's say, call settings. You can see all your settings right there. We'll go back, and there's no easy way to really scroll back, things still work a little bit differently. We'll go to settings again, we'll scroll down. Let's see what it says for about phone. So there's some model numbers, some baseband information, kernel stuff. Go back one more time, take a look at some of the other programs that we have here. Dev tools, which is interesting. And things are now running pretty zippy. Camera, I should show you. Doesn't recognize a camera, obviously. It keeps asking you for an SD card, which certainly I don't have. It's not recognizing my built in webcam on my iMac. Let's try calculator. Calculator works great. You can do 5 plus 6 equals 11, as it should. This is more just a, kind of a cool proof of concept. And then, as I mentioned before, the web doesn't quite function yet. Contact can go ahead and see as it would just on a normal Android. And then when you guys are all done using Android, what you're going to want to do is eject your disk and shut down Parallels. If you're just using a regular Windows, just eject your disk and restart Windows as you normally would. You'll never even know you had Android there. If you're using Parallels, first thing you want to do is get rid of the mouse from this window. So you want to hit Alt and Control to release the mouse. Go ahead and do that. Then you'll want to go to Actions, and you'll want to go and hit Stop, and that will stop the Windows from running. Then you can go ahead and just quit Parallels, go back in your Mac side, and eject the disk. And next time you boot into Parallels, you will be just in your regular Windows environment. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this really short tutorial and easy tutorial on how to install Android on your Mac or PC. For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. And if you want some new information on 